Hello everyone and welcome back to Home Cooked. Today we're going to be making a hibachi dinner and this is a really simple recipe that really anyone can make. Alright, so let's start off with our ingredients. I have some black peppers, salt, I have some soy sauce. I'm going to be using sesame oil instead of our regular oil. I'm going to be using teriyaki sauce and then I have a spice blend mix and I'll put all those ingredients in the video and also in the comment box below some eggs for our fried rice i have broccoli frozen peas carrots mushrooms onions and zucchini and always remember that the ingredients list is a template so alter it to your own liking if you don't like a certain vegetable or if you want to swap it out go ahead and do so um same thing with your proteins if you're allergic to seafood don't use shrimp if you only want chicken or if you only have steak on hand go ahead and you know alter the list to your liking so to season all of my proteins and my veggies i am going to use the same spice blend so those dry ingredients that i mentioned earlier the chili flakes the onion powder garlic powder and the nor you're going to mix that in with your salt and black pepper and you are going to put about a tablespoon in each of the proteins so a tablespoon in your shrimp a tablespoon in your steak and a tablespoon in your chicken along with about a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of the teriyaki sauce and you're going to mix that all together once that's all mixed you are going to begin cooking your proteins first and you're going to cook those separately So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my beef first, and I'm just gonna put that in the pot. And I've already put about a teaspoon of sesame oil in the pot, and I'm just gonna saute that until it's cooked to my preference. If you like your steak well done, go ahead and cook it to well done temperature. If you like it medium rare, cook it medium rare. However you like your steak is how you should cook it. So once that's done, I'm gonna take that out, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more sesame oil to the pan and I am gonna add in my chicken so chicken you definitely want to go ahead and cook that all the way you don't want to undercook that just because undercooking chicken can definitely make you sick and you don't want to get sick or make anyone else sick after they have this delicious delicious meal all right so once your chicken is fully cooked you're gonna take that out of your skillet and then lastly, you're going to cook your shrimp. So one thing about shrimp is that you don't wanna overcook it. Shrimp cooks in about five to seven minutes. You don't need to have it in the skillet for more than that, um, or else it'll get tough and it'll, it won't taste very good, it'll be chewy. So to the um, skillet, I added my shrimp and then I also added two tablespoons of butter and that butter is just gonna enhance that flavor. And then lastly, I'm gonna start off with more sesame oil and I'm gonna cook my veggies. Now, I like my vegetables crunchy, so I just sauteed them for about five minutes um, until they got coated with my sauces and stuff and then I went ahead and took them out. And you'll notice that I did not add my broccoli right away because I just have this thing about broccoli. I don't like my broccoli getting all crumbly and getting all over the other vegetables. <laughs> my husband would say that I have OCD, but that's just me. So I'm gonna cook my broccoli separate. But if you don't have that kind of problem, go ahead and toss it in with the rest of your veggies. Um, so I'm just gonna saute these and I added in my um, spice blend and I'm also gonna add in a teaspoon of soy sauce and teriyaki sauce. And now here, this is when I cook my broccoli and I just went ahead and did the same thing. And I like my broccoli very, very crunchy, so I only cooked it for about three minutes. Now for my egg, I'm just going to cook them like I do my scrambled eggs, but I'm not going to cook them all the way because I wanna finish cooking them when I actually put them in my rice. Lastly, I'm gonna add my rice to my skillet or pan, and I wanna make sure that it's refrigerated rice so that it holds that um, consistency. So once you refrigerate your rice, it just helps the rice not become so mushy when you're frying it because you know fried rice requires a lot of stirring and you 
don't want crumbly rice. That's just a no-no. So I'm gonna go in with my soy sauce and my um, teriyaki sauce, and then I'm also gonna add in my frozen peas. And the amount of teriyaki and soy sauce I use is about one tablespoon to start with, but I'm gonna add one more tablespoon um, later. So in total, I would say uh, maybe two to three tablespoons, just depending on how dark you want your fried rice. And don't forget your butter. Your butter really does add a very, very nice flavor. So the key here is to get that sauce to coat every single grain of rice. So you don't want your rice to be ombre, you want it all to be one color by the time you're finished. And you can just use two wooden spoons and stir it and mix it around just until every single grain of rice is coated. And that should take about five to seven minutes and you will notice that your rice will become a darker color. So once your rice is all evenly colored, you can go ahead and plate your dinner. And whether you're enjoying this tasty and delicious hibachi dinner by yourself or with a loved one, please don't forget to plate your dinner nicely. I always like to say that food should look as good as it tastes. So I hope you enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys next time. Good luck. Bye-bye.